Rice and Shine YouTube. My name is Charlie and these are 10 things you need to know about multiplayer in Death Stranding that will also help you understand the meaning of a strand game. Hey, now's the perfect time to push the button. Oh, hit the bell icon. Alright guys, thanks to the staggering over one hour long footage, Hideo Kojima showed at Tokyo Game Show, even by just scratching the surface with the very basics, he managed to leave me with the mouth open, only craving for more, while thinking the endless possibilities that we will have, when the game will be finally out on November 8th. So, if you follow the channel, you will know by now that I'm not a fan of multiplayer in games, but, as I mentioned in my previous video, Death Stranding's multi, I am extremely excited, cause it will completely stand apart from everything that we've seen before. So let's see how this statement translates into actual gameplay. Okay, to take things off with number 1, Kojima's comparison of DS with Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse now makes complete sense, since everyone will be controlling his arm in his own world, but he can become an extremely valuable asset, or should I say strand, in someone else's world by contributing in many different ways that we will see in a few moments. Thus, you might be experiencing this adventure alone with your BB, but in reality, you will not be alone. Number 2. What you have to understand is that multiplayer is implemented seemingly inside the single player experience, but to physically start experiencing the multi features, you always need to be connected and being in range within the chiral network, which is represented as this red, white and blue line. After you do this, when the dedicated button, aka communication button on the DualShock will be pushed, Sam will be able to now call someone for help and he will receive an actual answer back instead of just his own echo. Number 3. Managing weight on Sam's back plays a huge role in gameplay. Therefore, sometimes you might not be able to always carry a rope or a ladder with you on a mission because of the excessive weight, which means that the approach and the actual path that you can follow can make the mission extremely difficult to carry out without them. That said though, if another player before left his equipment at the same path that you decided to follow, you can use it with no problems while having the choice either to take the equipment with you or leave it for another Sam around the world to use too. Number 4. If you find the help of another player valuable, you can leave likes to the specific thing that helped you in order to let other Sams know. More likes means more popular the help becomes and therefore the chances of more people using it are increasing dramatically. Number 5. When a player empties the tank at a specific spot, a mushroom with his name will grow. Similarly, after a player will finish resting from a spot, a cairn will be formed that everyone can see and can live likes too. What is really interesting again in both cases with the mushroom and resting, when another player urinates or rests on someone else's spot, it's a price of weights, according to Hideo Kojima. In number 6, if you follow someone else's footsteps, it will become a path that will appear on the map. Important to mention is that when Sam will be riding the bike, following someone else's path can help in making the surface smoother thus velocity will be increased for reaching higher speeds. Number 7. Players will be able to contribute to another Sam's world with lots of different ways, either by leaving behind ropes, ladders, boots and bikes, by crafting lockers with shared equipment or guns, moreover shelters that will protect Sam and his cargo from time for rain while playing music, furthermore spots for charging Sam's equipment batteries back to full and finally when a player decides to build something, whether that is a safe house or a huge bridge, other Sam's can help too by leaving supplies and whoever has the greatest contribution will eventually have his name featured on the finalized structure. Number 8. When fighting a boss battle, a pretty normal thing to happen is to run out of ammo. So in case that happens, by pressing the communication button, another Sam can start providing aid by throwing guns and other supplies such as bombs 
that can be used to defeat the creature. In number 9, all kinds of signs can be left around the world for every player to see, either as warning signs, as indicators, route info and many more that makes it very handy, especially if it's your first time reaching a specific place on the map. It is also worth mentioning that when Sam will drive the bike and go over a sign someone else left behind will give a temporary boost increasing the bike's speed. Last but not least in number 10. As it seems crafting and in this case I'm talking specifically buildings will have a huge part to play in Death Stranding. So since millions of players will be able to craft in each other's worlds, some people are afraid that their reality will be filled with all kinds of structures. Especially if someone deliberately builds a safe house or bridge at a place that blocks the path. Now, according to Hideo Kojima, this would be very unlikely to happen due to two simple reasons. First, Rainfall will have the ability to degrade buildings over time, thus if someone would desire to keep his construction intact, it will be necessary to maintain it very frequently, otherwise we'll lose it. Second reason, every person will have the power of his war to his own hands, meaning unnecessary things can be deleted, even those made by other players. Of course, the changes will take effect only at the player's ward that is commanding the change and not from anybody else's, so you really don't need to worry about that, cause the mastermind already has it covered. There you have it guys, 10 things about DS's multiplayer. Please let me know your thoughts down in the comment section and let's have a discussion. Also don't forget to drop a like and push the red button for more DS that is coming very soon. So really hope that everyone's gonna have an amazing day or night, whatever you're going to do and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye!